Agent 47 is our favorite bald guy for already two decades. But why though? Where's the second formula of the game? Is it because we all gonna have a bald head fetish? Or is it something else? Well, I can't speak for everyone, but I can speak for myself. Hitman games are providing to the player a unique sense of freedom of approach that you cannot find in most of the recent games. My god, Fisher, have you gone insane? The mission's over. The concept is simple. This is you. This is the target. Now go get it. When you begin a new contract, you need to decide how you're gonna complete it. And everything is on table. Are you into the stealth? You enjoying luring after the target, learning his path, and then finding that perfect moment to take him down? If so, then go climb that pipe, play hide and seek with the guards, or just dive into the dumpster and be the splinter soul raccoon you always wanted to be. Are you a low-key maniac? If so, then gun blazing it is! Bring your favorite assault rifle and just enjoy some massacre with some fun ragdoll physics. The game won't punish it for it. As long as you complete the objective, you can kill the entire population of Sapinesia and still complete the mission. You want to pretend to be a Leonardo DiCaprio from Catch Me If You Can? Then, social engineering is your cup of tea. Disguise yourself as anyone, from janitor up to the top model and grant yourself access to the most restricted areas on the map just by having the right look. And that is not even all. Accident. Stabbing, poisoning, crocodiles, the possibilities are countless. Most people think that Hitman games are puzzle-solving stealth games. And I can understand why they might think so. Especially in the new games, where they just literally holding you by the hand and pointing you what to do exactly in every step, just to achieve that special kill or accident. Pick this up. Pick this up. Now stab me. In my opinion, it just ruins the whole immersive part of the game. If you really want to have a real hitman experience, then just disable the minimap, every possible hood, and if you're brave enough, turn off the instinct and just immerse yourself into this world and pretend to be a real hitman. Explore the map, learn the guard parts, follow the target and look for the perfect opportunity that suits you to eliminate the target. And if you do yourself this favor, you will realize that hitman is actually a sim game. No, 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 not Sims. A simulator game, simulation of being a hitman. And that's the creative freedom is mind blowing if you invest yourself in it. And on top of that, you're always killing the bad guys, so you never feel too guilty. So shove his face into the toilet, stab him, shoot him, blow him up, or just throw him into the hippos. Nobody cares. <laughs> In the end, Hitman is an amazing inverted murder mystery game that allows free form of thinking. Instead of figuring out who did it, how, why and where, you figure out how and where you're gonna eliminate your target. So, get yourself a suit, shave your head and pack up your favorite sniper rifle. We got some bad guys to kill.